everyone, Turtle Shop here, and welcome to a different kind of video about how to make annotations for your videos. Now, this can range anywhere from annotations just telling them to subscribe or like the video. This one, in this case, is going to be a subscribe. So, first, what you're going to want to do is go into iMovie and create a background image. I created this one. Uh, or you can use any uh, clip of background video you like, and you can do this by just dragging it in here. So, once you have it in here, uh, that's what all you need to do in iMovie for right now. Also, you create a new project. Uh, then the next thing you're going to want to do is create your annotation. So, for instance, I made this one that says hi, just kind of really quickly. Just put a text box and a rectangle. Um, but I'd recommend using a rounded rectangle as it looks smoother and, and things. So, you're going to want to move the text to the right of the annotation uh, like this. And make sure none is cut off by any of the screen. Then you're going to want to save that, and I made one already here, so I don't need to, and go into Keynote. Then you can go File New, White, and uh, before I do anything, I want to show you what it'll look like when it's done. So when you click on it, it'll bounce in, and then it'll bounce out. So let's uh, make File New again, and White, and we can just delete that text. Uh, we can go like that, and by clicking the uh, little arrow here, Click the color wheel and make it a very bright, bright green. Something like that. Looks about good. And then what you can do is you can find the uh, annotation that you made and drag it in here. Then you can put it in the, the uh, desired position. I'm going to move it right about here. Um, keep in mind that iMovie cuts off part of the bottom of this unless you want black lines on the side, which is actually okay, but then some of this part will be showing, and that's not good. So I prefer just to move it up more, and that looks about right to me. Now let's start with the animation process. You're going to want to go up to the top right here and click Animate. Uh, click Build In and click Add an Effect. Click Move In and left to right. One second, bounce, and order has to be one. And that's it for the move in. Then uh, for the move out or build out, you're going to want to click move out. And instead of left to right, you're going to want to click right to left. Unless you want it to be, you know, something like something like that. So it goes up. But I prefer to do it um, right to left. So it goes in and out. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is um, you can play it if you want to and preview what the entire thing can look like. And go to the next one by clicking bounce in and bounce out so that's it for that then to export it you can click export to QuickTime and create that maybe five seconds and 720p or you could do 1080p whichever you like um, I prefer to do 720 because uh, it cuts off less in iMovie but that's okay you can uh, you can do anything that you like uh, it doesn't really matter click next and call it something I'm gonna call it subscribe oops spelled that wrong watching me type eh. subscribe uh, to and export it'll say create a movie and it'll be a loading bar and I'll take a little while once it's done you can minimize this then go back into iMovie you have your uh, one here with your background image, and you could just drag the animation on top. Now that you have that, what you're going to want to do is click the little speech bubble icon up here, and instead of cut away, we're going to select green, blue screen. Now it's going to cut all the green out of the video, and if you want, you can click crop, and you can adjust the crop on the, on the video if you want to, so you can just kind of go like that to make it a little better. So now, it'll show it like that. And uh, we can just go back to here just to stop that. And now you're done. So you can uh, preview it if you like to, if you want to see it. So let's start from the beginning about and wait about 10 seconds or so. And eventually that subscribe should pop in like that. And then you can wait a little more, five seconds we put, and then it'll go out. So that is how you do that. And that's pretty much it. Oops. Sorry about that, I just dropped my mic. Uh, anyway, that is all for today. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool when it bounces out and bounces in. And uh, that is how you make a nice annotation that moves in and out of your video cleanly and professionally. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.